teachers are saying American children are losing motivation and creativity. Earlier, I spoke with psychotherapist Jeanette Yoff, who suggests the problem stems from kids having too much stress these days. She explains some of the causes of this stress and ways to reduce it. During the pandemic, as we know, many children received a diagnosis of either anxiety, depression. And so during the pandemic, a lot of children went on medication. And medication, psychotropic medication, can actually numb a child's limbic system, and which supports brain functions such as long-term memory, language, and speaking. And medication changes how the brain works. So it can flatten affect, it can take the edge off too much for teenagers. And one teen told me it it feels surreal. It flattens so much of their feeling states that it really dulls their motivational drive. And why do you think there are more uses of medication these days? Well, because children have higher states of stress. And as we're experiencing right now, children are watching what's happening in Ukraine. Uh, They've endured the pandemic, natural disasters. And so for them to tolerate stress is very difficult for a child. Uh, They have windows of stress tolerance. And one child explained it. It feels like existential doom. I don't know what's going to happen in the world. And I'm so stressed. And when the brain is stressed, it's not receptive to learning. And it has difficulty taking in information. And what can happen for kids is they can have learned helplessness. And that's a state uh, that occurs where they experience stress on a repeated, in a repeated way over and over. And they feel like they can't control or change the situation. So they don't even try. And that's even when... There's really not much that these kids can do about these global events. What can be done to help reduce some of their stress? Yes. So we want to explain to kids that it's normal to have stress. Actually, there's three types of stress, positive stress, tolerable stress, and toxic stress. What we wanna mitigate is toxic stress. So we wanna psychoeducate children. I do this all the time as a psychotherapist. And we wanna help them understand that lessening their use of technology is will help them with lowering their state of depression and anxiety because being inundated with all this information can cause more stress and anxiety for them. Yoff says too much time on phones and iPads can be distracting, and therefore Yoff recommends parents take their kids outside into nature to help reorganize their nervous systems. 